This is the Earth Science Classroom. Welcome back to the channel. This is the Earth Science Classroom. We're looking at, in this video today, plate tectonics, looking at intraplate volcanism and looking at hotspots. So areas of magmatic activity and volcanism on the Earth's surface, mostly under oceanic crust on ocean floors, but occasionally on continental crust. And this video, we're looking at how the ocean crust is moving in conjunction with the magma plume. And here we have the upper mantle and the lithospheric plate, which is the crust and lithosphere combined. And this is an oceanic plate, so it's thin, between 5 and 15 kilometers thick. It is made or composed of basaltic rock, the igneous extrusive rock made from lava, which is about 3 grams per centimeter cubed. And we have also the convection currents in the asthenosphere that are continuously working to move the plate. Now, one of the focus points of this whole diagram is the magma plume or the diapir, which is the balloon or concentration of hot rock and magma that's going to rise up from the core mantle boundary all through the mantle, all through the mesosphere, into the asthenosphere, up to and touching and kind of connecting with the lithosphere plate, the oceanic plate, and eventually going to burn through and move the magma up to the surface of the earth on the ocean floor. An important part or point to remember about this diagram with intraplate volcanism is that the magma plume is going to rise up. It's going to be stationary. It's going to be moving magma up towards the surface, towards the plate. But in terms of location on the earth, it's going to stay in a stationary position geographically and relative to the plate, it's going to stay still. The plate's going to move and be pushed and pulled by the convection currents, but the actual magma plume itself is going to stay exactly where it is and continuously flow of magma. This flow of magma is going to reach the ocean floor, the Earth's surface, and produce a volcano on that ocean floor, which will continuously get bigger and bigger and bigger as long as that volcano is situated or positioned above the magma plume, which is the source of magma. As long as there's magma, you can get a volcano. So this volcano is going to grow until the point where it goes large enough to get above the ocean surface and it becomes a volcanic island. So these little islands are formed through this process with a magma plume. Once the volcano has been established and formed on this magma plume, it's going to be attached to the ocean floor, which is the plate, which is in continuous motion according to the convection currents. It's going to move to one direction at a certain speed and then it's going to move off the plume and a new section of oceanic crust will be on that plume and it's going to form a new volcano. So eventually over time you get this sequence, this linear sequence of volcanoes that are formed over the plume and then move off the plume and slowly get smaller and smaller and smaller and degraded and broken down and weathered and eroded by the elements and the ocean to form seamounts. So these volcanoes become a long production line of creating these volcanoes and then move them off the plume to slowly break down and go back towards the ocean floor. And eventually go to a point where it meets a convergent plate boundary and there's subduction or there's orogeny and the volcano and plate gets destroyed. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth.